Hey, what's up you fishing addicts out there? Thanks so much for tuning in to another Addicted Fishing tutorial. Do not forget, if you're new to our channel and you love fishing, tap that subscribe button. And if you're one of our subscribers, do not forget, turn that little bell, bell notification on, join that notification squad. Today, we're gonna be talking about Rapalas for trout. So stay tuned. All right, so you read online or you watched another video and you found out that Rapalas are good for trout when you're out there trolling or casting or whatever. But when you go to the store, you're gonna see that there's just a massive selection of all these different ones and all these different Rapalas that you can use. So I thought I'd just highlight the top three that over the years I've found work the best. So we're gonna start with the first one, the jointed Rapala. And basically what this thing is, let me pull it out of the package here. Let's see here. So the jointed Rapala, this is a floating one. So a floating joint, and basically what it is, is it's got that little joint, and as it freaking swims, it wiggles back and forth. Let's show you guys what that looks like right here. So as you guys can see, when you cast it out there, it's floating, and then what happens is as you move it, that little joint is gonna wiggle back and forth. Just like that. These things are can be really really deadly i like to add weight so i like to put some weight up here just to get it down there a little bit and these come in like a various array of tons of different colors this is your rainbow trout pattern that i got right here but they come in tons of different colors tons of different sizes this is a little bit more of a smaller one and you can use them for tons of different species as well you can catch panfish on these bass but very underutilized when it comes to trout so i highly recommend trying these freaking things all right, so number two that I really like to use when it comes to trout fishing are these countdown Rapalas. And basically what these are is they have a swimming depth of two to three feet is what they say on the package, but they sink. So you count them down as you cast them out there, they sink and get you into that depth that you want them to be in. So let's tie this guy on there and I'll show you guys what I mean. Basically when you pull them out of the package, again, I got one of the smaller ones because I like to use these smaller baits when it comes to trout, especially when you're looking for the stalker trout that we are in a lot of these lakes i'll use the smaller rapalas basically comes out of the package same thing it's got a little bill to help it swim it's got a split ring on there a couple treble hooks so as you tie it on there the way these things are going to work basically is they're going to sink about one foot per second so that's kind of what it says on the package. So as soon as this thing hits the water, it's going to start dropping. See that? So let's basically cast it out. Let's go on this side so you guys can see in these logs here. As soon as it hits water, one, two, three, four, five, it's going to sink and it sinks pretty fast. And so where this is going to work well is in areas like this, you know, we're fishing a pretty deep lake today. So we're going to cast that thing out there. Let it sink. One, two, three, four, five, so you should be about five feet deep, and then it's gonna stay at that depth. It's made of a heavy balsa wood, so the balsa kind of keeps it down there and keeps it in that same water column that you want it to do. So you're just gonna reel it in slowly, and that's all you do. And same thing, I really like to use these for trolling for trout and in creeks where you wanna get deeper creeks and rivers where you wanna cast these baits and get them into the deeper strike zone these things can be freaking deadly. So do not count out the sink in Rapala when it comes trolling. Again, they make this in tons of different colors, tons of different sizes. I like to use the smaller one, like I said, but when you go to the store, you're gonna see a vast array of colors and sizes and all that that you can use. So highly recommend trying the sinking Rapalas. Now let's go to number three in my pick of top three Rapalas for trolling trout. All right, so number three, and probably, honestly, it's the original, it's the standby, it's the one that's been used forever. It's the original floating Rapala. And this one, you know, the first thing I started doing, I remember it was years ago, I was, I was fishing a bass lake with a couple buddies, and I was like, dude, let's try trolling some Rapalas for bass. You know, we were young kids, we weren't catching very many bass, and I was like, let's try trolling some original Rapalas. So we hit the lake, we started trolling them, and we started crushing trout the trout started just munching on these freaking Rapalas. So these originals are probably an old standby and used probably the most well-known when it comes to trolling for trout. Same thing, when you pull them out of the package, they're gonna have a bill 
they're gonna have a couple trebles and these don't come with a split ring on there you just attach that directly to the line but I actually like to add a split ring to them so take your split rings here got little small guys you know it's weird because some of the some of the jointeds and some of the floateds they come with split rings but then some of these don't and I you know I never really understood why because I like to have that split ring on there spaces your spaces it away from that bill so we're going to get this split ring put on there here so as you get it you just freaking slide that thing on there like so and then you're going to attach your line to that split ring All right, let's go off this side of the boat here. So not like the other one that we just showed you, this one's gonna float. So as you can see, when you put it in the water here, bingo, she's floating. But then that bill gets her diving a little bit. So as you troll along, she starts to dive. Now, the original floating Rapala is deadly when it comes to trout. Now on the package, let's see what it says. It says, trolls from two to four feet and each one of the packages when you look right here it's going to have basically what their what their considered diving depth is so on the originals two to four feet now again these come in a million different patterns this is the brown trout pattern one of my favorite catches a lot of different stalker trout and rainbows they seem to crush this pattern it's got that yellows and the browns in it but again make sure you go to the store and get yourself a good selection of all of them and then when you're trolling them, same thing. Make sure you add weight, make sure you get down into the strike zone because if you're not in the fish, you're not gonna catch any fish. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. Actually, Jordan did a whole tutorial on how to troll these Rapalos. So I'll make sure I drop a link down below and show you guys kind of what we do there. Okay, so you guys got the floating, the countdown, and the jointed. All three deadly when it comes to trolling trout in lakes and streams and ponds. It doesn't really matter. When you're fishing these things for trout, they seem to crush them. You know, contrary to what people believe, trout are aggressive. They will run down a bait. They will crush it and eat it. These things are hungry. A lot of these fish are very, very hungry, and they will eat a predatory bait just like this. So I highly recommend you guys get out there and try these for sure when it comes on your next fishing trip. All right, one last little trick, little bonus tip I'm gonna give you guys before we end this video. And I wanted to talk about scents. So I really like to scent these things. I think anything that's a hard bait or anything like this, I really like to just apply a scent to it when you're not using real bait, because why not? It sure as hell can't hurt, right? So I got a couple different options here. I, really, I like this. It's actually made for rooster tails. It's like a scent spray that they make for rooster tails, but it's just convenient. You just pull the cap off. Literally, it's just a spray. Just like that, so you can just hold your lure out. Boom, give it one little spray. It smells like trophy trout. And go catch me a trophy. So that's one thing that you can do is this little scent sprays here. Lost my lid, guys, lost my lid. All right, the other thing is this bait wax. Oh, who makes it? Yeah. Warden's Rooster Tail makes this trophy. They, they partnered with Procure Bait Sense, and they're the ones that make this little spray. So I think you can get it at Walmart. You can get it in all sorts of places. I'll drop a link down below in Amazon if you guys want to get it off there. But yeah, check it out, the little spray. It works on everything, rooster tails, you know, any sort of little spinner, blue fox spoons, but also well on Rapalas. So the other thing I like to use on these Rapalas is this bait wax. So this is a bait wax that Procure makes. It's super convenient. It just comes in this little, it's like chapstick basically. You basically wind it out. You don't need to wind too much of it out, but same thing. Then you just kind of wax up. You know, it doesn't need much guys. This is garlic, garlic scent. So ugh, it's already got a nice potent scent on there. But again, they make this bait wax gel in a freaking million different scents, million different patterns works really, really well, especially in any area where you're just, you're not using bait. You know, if you don't have bait or you don't have worms or something like that to help you catch fish, these little treats right here are deadly. So make sure you get yourself some scent when you're out here fishing these Rapalas. 
Thank you so much for tuning into this video, guys. Let me know suggestions on other videos you want to see, other things you want to learn, or if you just want to drop a comment below and let me know where you're tuning in from, I'd love that as well. Thanks again for tuning in. Do not forget, subscribe to our channel. We got lots more videos coming. Turn on that bell notification. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the river.